That is toxic. You're gonna eat that? It's pretty good. A seizure, muscle damage, and like you can lose your eyesight. Three this morning, Nick passed away at the Kaiser Hospital. Attention can come in many forms. You can get dramatic on TV, you can create your own homemade video, you can create a fake alien corpse, or you can eat tapeworms and die. Ooh. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil, really Neil, and today I'm fing grossed out, bro. Oh my god, I just see there's this TikToker. That's it. That's why I'm grossed out. That's the video. TikTokers are just repulsive, bro. So this guy, he catches fish and he eats them. Pretty average Caucasian hobby, right? Sometimes he even catches and eats other things. Okay, fine. Whatever, bro. Do you. His name is Nick Kratka, a seemingly innocent young man who likes to make fishing videos. He has 6 million followers on TikTok. Holy carp. So according to his famous birthdays profile, which for some reason he has a link to in his bio, he is a relatable personality and content creator known for sharing various story time videos on his account. I mean, he obviously made this himself. For some reason, he also included his sister made him clean his feet in a June 2020 TikTok. What the hell? But in late September 2023, in the middle of a hurricane, Nick and his friend decides to go fishing. His choice of lure? I'll be using a whopper plopper, which is a top water lure. A whopper plopper. <laughs> plopper? I, I, I just met her. <laughs> so they catch a largemouth bass. If you don't know what that is, according to my research, that's a fish. This guy is coming in at 13 inches and a quarter. He has some nice fillets on him. There's so Nick takes his fish home. As you do. This guy is such a handsome fish, I feel bad eating him. As he's filleting the fish, he discovers the belly has tapeworms. Largemouth bass is a great first fish to fillet because they don't have round heads, so they're not going to be wobbling all over the place. Realizing that he has tapeworms, so it's going to be pretty tough to eat. Oh, right. That, that's disgusting. I'm not leaving this image on for too long. So if you want to see it again, rewind the video and pause. I ain't getting my video taken down over some damn fish, okay? He looked it up to see if it was safe to eat. I looked it up and apparently if you cook the fish thoroughly, the tapeworm shouldn't affect you, but I can't say that I'm not experiencing problems after I ate it. My bro, I don't care what WebMD says to me, I'm throwing that damn fish away. Even if Google told me, Neil, this tapeworm is completely safe to eat. I'm tossing the whole fish, bro. As a matter of fact, I'm throwing away everything that's involved. The fishing rod, the lure, the knife, the cutting board. I'm burning the lake. Everything. There's literally no scenarios where I see worms and I ask, can I, can I still eat this? This is the filet I got. I seasoned it, threw it in the pan, and then presented Yeah, I can't lie. That looks good. Uh, it, that looks scrumptious. It's a shame it has parasites. In the pan, and then presented it right next to the tapeworms, which was a mistake. Man. Why would you do this? Listen, I don't know if this is a thing, yeah? Presenting fish like this. I'm not well connected in the, the fishing community. But if this is what y'all are doing, it's fucking gross, okay? Stop that shit. Kids, don't don't put cooked fish next to raw fish, okay? It's, it's not good for you. So Nick, of course, eats the fish. Yo, low-key, like, the taste worms add some flavor. They're pretty good. Oh, low-key, huh? This is the face of a man who thought he's doing something clever to get attention. See those eyes? Yo, can you film me while I eat this fish? It's gonna get so many views. Well, after checking out his profile, it turns out, uh... He's a Florida man. That's right, folks. Pack up your things. You can go home now. It just all makes sense now, doesn't it? This might be TMI. It's been two days, and I have not stopped going to the bathroom. I'm kind of afraid that I literally have tapeworms in my stomach. TMI. What about eating the tapeworms? Wasn't that TMI? You didn't have to film that. You could have done your Florida man thing and eat your tapeworms in your own damn privacy. But you decided that the world needs to see you being a clown. I've never gone to the bathroom this much in my life. I'm mildly concerned. If you know anything about this in the comments, please let me know because I am I am kind of afraid that I have a parasite. So based off the fact that he's already asking for comments this early, you can see he's just fishing for attention. Only thing I have to say about this one is don't eat tapeworms. Write that down, guys. Take some notes. Yeah. Rule number one in life, don't eat tapeworms. Rule number two, have a very translucent mustache. So the commenters were obviously disgusted. Yeah. Someone even said, bro is risking his life. And he replies, all for your entertainment. Listen, guys, I'm making these videos for your entertainment. Okay. You ain't ever catching me eating no damn worms for you to click on my videos all right so lower your expectations chapter two we move on to the second tiktok where nick gives us an update on his shitty situation 
Update on the tapeworms that I ate the other day. I went to the doctor and he said it is more than likely that I have tapeworms. Or some kind of parasite inside me. I'm going to the bathroom non-stop. My stomach is killing me. He prescribed me three different medications that are anti-parasitic. Why are you smiling? What is there to smile about? Is it the views that you're getting? Is that it? Some of the worms cause seizure, muscle damage, and like you can lose your eyesight because the worms get in there. Does it also cause brain damage? Because I don't think you have to worry about that. If there is any lesson you learned from this, it would be do not eat worms inside of a bath. Trust me, Nick, we already knew this. The real lesson we learned here is that people on TikTok will do anything for views. I mean, anything. You could have eaten Tide Pods or something and we would have been fine with it. Bro, I'm an idiot. I'm not gonna lie. This was, this was totally my fault. I was like, oh, it'll be a good video. I'll eat some tapeworms. Who does that? You, you didn't need to convince us that you're an idiot. We were already fully confident that you were a certified moron. Before you guys come at me in the comments, I looked it up and apparently if you cook the fillets thoroughly, the tapeworms won't get in you or any worm won't get in you. Uh, the fish you put it next to had tapeworms. That fish was almost alive. It was so close to coming back to life and tell you, Nick, Berta, I have tapeworms. Please don't eat me, you dumb fucking idiot. Dude, is it just me or is his face annoying? It's that stupid smile he has on. I mean, my face isn't that great Bruh. either, but at least I ain't eating no damn tapeworms for attention. Chapter three. Right, so we move on to the third TikTok. This is where things get a little more dramatic. He dies. He, he, he's dead. So his homeboy comes on the video and gives his little eulogy, explains the cause of his death and a whole heap of f***ing nonsense. Update on the tapeworm situation with Nick. 7.30 this morning, Nick passed away at the Kaiser Hospital. I was with him over the last 24 hours and he wanted me to inform you guys on the situation. Nick was on antiparasitic medication and unfortunately it was not working. The worm spread to his eyes and brain. By the time we made it to the hospital, it was clear that Nick was not going to be able to make it and the medical team decided to give him pain medication until he passed away. Uh, plot twist. 45 seconds into this video, Nick's stupid ass face returns to irritate us once again. He isn't dead, he's very much alive and annoying, and he doesn't have his mustache. I apologize for the trauma I just gave you guys. I assure you I'm happy, I'm here, and I'm gonna be making content for a very long time. No one was traumatized, my brother Nicholas. You would have been known as a TikToker who ate tapeworms for clout, and it would have been the most viral story for the next two hours. And by the way, most people didn't watch the entire video. So a lot of people went straight to the comments to express their disbelief. You can't just fake your death and be like, psych, I didn't shit myself to death. I'm actually very much alive. Don't cancel me. Nick made me do it. The anti both of you are idiots. All right. You're guilty by association. So f both of you for making me so concerned. I am editing this video right now. And it is definitely the wildest publicity stunt I've ever done. The wildest publicity stunt I've ever done. It's pretty good, eh? The journey is usually the part that you remember anyway. You hear that, right? This ain't his first rodeo, not his first fishing trip. He's been pulling this nonsense from time. This is why part of me thinks this entire thing is fake. So this whole thing might just be a charade. It's debatable. Again, you see that dumb smirk on his face? Does that look like the face of someone who's been shitting himself to death? No, it's the face of someone who deserves to shit himself from tapeworms. Chapter 4, The Aftermath. So this is the fourth TikTok video. In this one, Nick addresses the whole faking his death thing. Because obviously either one, people were kind of concerned, or two, people who did watch the entire video didn't find it funny at all. I've gotten thousands of comments about a recent post that I made and I need to talk about it. I'm really happy that you guys are holding me accountable for this because creators lying to their audiences is not cool, especially in the manner that I- Uh, pause for a second there, Chief. You clearly said in your previous video that this was the wildest thing you've ever done for publicity. You've been lying to people. So what the f*** are you preaching right now about creators lying to their audiences? I was under the impression that because I was at the end of the video that it would wind up being taken as a lighthearted joke. I should have definitely seen that that was a super foolish take. It was just dumb. There's no other way to say it. It was really stupid on my end. Since the post was made, I've posted stories explaining that I am okay. I've also turned on comments and commented on all these posts myself so that people could see that it is not true. Uh, uh Oh yeah, well you still have all the videos up because you know you're still gonna get attention for it. So you ain't sorry for nothing. If people didn't call you out on it, you would have taken your hundreds of thousands of views and likes and shove it up your ass. I hope you guys are able to forgive me, but if not, I completely respect your decision. Bruh. Listen, guys, I really hope I don't get to the point of my YouTube career where I'll need to make an apology video. Because I won't be able to fake an apology video like this. I'm not acting on video, this is how I really am really Neil. And let's be real, that apology is fake, alright? A lot of people are obviously falling for the whole thing, but I'm not buying it. It seems, it seems kind of fishy. 
As I said, part of me is fully convinced this whole thing is fake. Even eating the tapeworms part. I think he cooked a completely different fish. I think the raw fish in the plate was a different fish that was just cut the same way. Even when he ate it, he took a bite from the furthest corner. He also made sure he hit all the medication labels. I understand his personal information is on those labels, but it still do be kind of sus, bro. Listen, if you're a young creator and you need some likes and views to get your project going, that's fine. There's different ways to be really creative with getting attention. Just don't do dumb stuff like this because you know what? Hey, I'll come for you. Yeah, I'm coming for you. So what do you guys think? Is this completely fake or did he actually go through with this whole thing to get some attention? Either way, he's doing it to get attention. Uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Pause. We just hit 100 subscribers. Yeah! Very small number, but still a huge milestone. I made a YouTube short thanking all of you, but I want to say it again. Thank you guys for clicking on this random YouTuber. I got tons of cool stuff coming in the pipeline for you guys. So stick around. See you soon. Peace.